need to adjust my volume Cause I don't know what else to do And I'm trying to see if this is working properly Which I think it is Oh no <laughs> No, oh, whoopsies. <laughs> I completely forgot that um, I had the thing monitoring on the thing. Oh, right. Before I do anything, I have to actually tweet about this. That would be the smart thing to do. Uh. That would be the semi slightly intelligent thing to do so that people may not necessarily know what's going on more or less know what's going on. Let's see. And I'm... No, I don't know. That's not how you spell I'm. And again, that's not how I spell I'm. And I'm live and having issues with spelling. And I'm live. <clears throat> Where's the tweet button? Am I tweeting? Is this how the young people tweet? I'm hoping this is how the young people tweet. Otherwise, I'm going to have issues. Oh, there we go. And I'm live. There we are. And hey, Kev, I'm echoing on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kev, I spotted that a little late, <laughs> cause I have uh, the thing going in the background on my second monitor, so I just wanted to make sure that uh, I see what's going on. But uh, I forgot to turn off the noise, <laughs> so was hearing myself for a second. I am live. I tweeted it. It exists. It is the truth. And so we're just going to give it a minute and then we're going to start on this game. This game is called Kiz... Oh, I hit the microphone. <gasps> oh, I'm being assaulted on all fronts here. Excuse me. This game is called Never Alone. Uh, I'm thinking that the other title that popped off a little while ago is another language or the subtitle of the game I don't know I'm a little bit on the clueless side but it's not the first time I'm here so not necessarily a bad thing Kisma Inichiuna probably butchering that like no not no one's business but what are you gonna do all right, I think that's enough time. It's not like I have a horde of people I'm waiting for anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, I can play or play Fox Tales. I'm gonna assume I should play no the normal one first, right? I'm just gonna hit regular play, and I'm pretty sure when I do, Fox Tales will become relevant. Or at least I'll know what Foxtails is. Let's just hit normal play. Okay. Now I'm actually kind of curious. Cultural insights. What is this? Ooh. Actually, let's check out one. Oh. Ooh. One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. Ooh. Aww. The Inupiaq people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that there is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. Oh, wow, that's pretty it's cool. It's a hunting society, a gathering society from thousands of years. This is what creates our culture. That special relationship between humans and the natural world and the animals. Oh, the and animals. that it teaches you how to have a, a society. Oh, no, I skipped it. <laughs> no. Well, okay. Uh, well, more or less got the feeling of that. I guess these are behind the thing, the things, behind the scenes things. Uh, so unless someone really wants me to watch the whole thing, I accidentally like pressed a button with my fat fingers, which I didn't mean to. Oh, that's a shame. I kind of wanted to watch the whole thing. I'll probably watch it on my own time unless someone on here really wants me to watch it. But that's that's really cool. 
automatically it gives me a sense of what the game is probably going to be all about. So let's uh, let's find out here. Uh, all right, let's go to options. Uh, your standard fare. I'll edit those when I'm a little more. Let's just let's, let's start the game. Oh, hey! Uh, just in case you didn't watch the videos, the in the in pool. Oh man, don't give me words I can't pronounce. I'm from New Jersey. The Inupiat are an Alaskan native people who have thrived for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on Earth. Learn more about the Unpayat through that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, you do. Uh, you showed me that. I would, but it's a gaming stream. <laughs> I, I will actually in my own time because I'm actually legit curious. Oh. I was very young once, too. Pick, pull the deer. Oh, the seal. Well, you, you gotta eat. Although that's uh. In your neck, I'm not caught you guys. I'm not holding my neck. That's a lot of blizzards. I'm not holding my neck by Sunday. That's a lot of blizzards. Oh no. He's a man. I'm not in your neck, Sibut. Uh oh. You be a shagger or he's a man. He's a man. Well, it's kind of hard to hunt. I'll bet ten dollars it's Cobra. Cobra with their weather controlling machine. I got two new. I like how they let you watch the insights at any time. That's actually pretty useful, especially if you're if you get super curious about, um, about the uh, the the culture the game is based off of. I can't see. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Can I? Uh, oh. oh no. Please don't make me watch a, a girl die in the... Oh, boy. Oh, no. She's teeny. No. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, D. Ah, run. That's a hell of a way to start a game. Run. Oh, oh, oh. Jump, jump. <laughs> oh, no. It knows how to jump. Oh, I almost didn't make it. No! <laughs> Get out of there! Get out of Wee! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God! I look, look, Mr. Bear! I was just trying to figure out what was going on, and I was just. Oh! <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, God! I'm sorry, Mr. Bear! I didn't realize I was treading on your, on your, uh, on your, oh, on your hook. Oh, oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ooh. Help me. Help me, Mr. Fox. Co-op mode. Press Q to switch to Fox in single player mode. Oh, so in co-op mode, another player would play the Fox. Okay. Oh! I don't want to hear you! Yep! Oh, you're fine. You're you're specifically designed. Oh, no! Whoa, whoa. You're specifically designed to be in the water. Yeah. Okay, well, that huh. Whee! Are you gonna follow me or am I gonna. Yay! 
Totally should, Kev. Missed out a co-op opportunity up in here. There is DLC, quote unquote. The weather did not clear up as a bl oh close call ha. Did not clear up as a blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. Robert Cleveland. Okay. Okay. Not a profound quote, but more like a descriptive quote. Totally, I I, I can understand that. Yeah, I know how you feel. Ah. Oh. <laughs> if only foxes were like that in actuality. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Can you make it or am I going to have to control you? Oh, all right, I'm sorry. I got to watch this one. Because that's your partner. When I was growing up, uh, my grandpa uh, had a pet white fox. If you're a good friend with a fox, when there's danger abound, they try to keep you from getting into trouble. Will they? They pull tricks here and there, and foxes are uh, like uh, spoiled little kids in a way. <laughs> when you let her out, she'd go prancing out in the snow, jumping in the air. I know she was happy then. Oh, come running at me and jump on my chest, knock me backwards, lick my face, and, and I try not to let her. So that was my memory of my grandpa's pet fox. Oh, wow, okay, so apparently they, uh, they were a tad bit more, give me a second here. They were a tad bit more, uh, friendly <laughs> in this universe. Oh, and you can switch the game mode. All right, hello, Mr. Owl. Can I? Oh, there we go. Where you going? Oh. Uh. Oh, hey. I found the, the get down button. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, climb the wall. So switch to the fox, and I can climb the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, or maybe I have to hold it. Nope. Huh, hold on a second. Yep. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, I had to tap it. Oh, haha. <clears throat> Nuna. Can you climb the rope? Actually, I want to make you climb the rope. <laughs> I'm like half uh, paranoid that I don't want to leave either one of these guys behind. The fox is more agile than this little kid. Oh no, now what? Oh, okay. Just blizzard being a butt. Oh, I see. So that's just to show you that you're able to avoid some harsh winds if they become, uh, whoa! No! Oh. oh no, you too, huh? Yeah, I know the feeling. I'm not very, uh... Oh god! No! <laughs> I guess that get down function was a lot more, uh, applicable than I thought. Well, how do I know when to use it? Whoa! I guess that's how. Get down. Oh. I'm sorry, I must know. <laughs> I'm kind of really curious. By the way, hi, Mason. Caribou was... It, it provided for us in many ways. Our clothing in those days was made of all caribou skin. I grew up wearing caribou pants, mittens, caribou skin mattress, blankets. Some people had boots that were made with wolf leggings, sealskin sole bottoms. Baleen was shaved to make insoles. They kept us quite dry and warm as well. But the caribou skin clothing was the best. We would get as many yearlings as we could for our outer clothing. And for a heavy winter, we would get caribou in February or March because the hair was the longest 
and their skin was the thickest, no. and we would use those for our winter gear. With that stuff on, you could sleep outside in 50 below, and it wouldn't bother you a bit. That's really cool. And yes, Mason, I completely and 100% agree, it's just like Limbo. Except less scary! <laughs> okay, forgot about that. My interests got in the way of trying not to get blown. Oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. Trying to get blown away. Whoop! Jump, Fox, jump! Yeah. Oh, no! There we go. Uh-oh! Oh, oh no! Careful! That's not a good place to end up in, in the water. Oh! Uh... Uh, press T to guy. Oh, well, I, I get if I press. What am I gonna? Oh! Get up here. Oh! Okay? What is happening? Am I. Uh, uh, oh. oh! Are we platforming on the spirits? I, I guess so. Hi, Seth. Uh, I'm gonna jump on it. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself. A jump. <laughs> Saya has soul. I hope you don't guys don't mind watching these videos because I'm super duper curious now. I don't know what more or less. Silla is the weather. It also means the atmosphere. Here's the Nuna, or the land. And it's anything from the land into the moon, the sun, the stars. That's Silla. Huh. It's, uh, it's a very spiritual, and we have a relationship with Silla. Uh, Silla has a soul in the same way we do as people, in the same way animals do. I think spirit helpers in and of themselves are really about how we're connected with things. And so it may be that there is a spirit helper that shows themselves as a bird to show you the way home. Or it may be a spirit helper that actually decides to show themselves with the face and body of a man instead of their animal form. And so I think one of the oh. things that's hard to understand is that it's not one way of seeing things. It's one way of knowing you're connected to everything. We've oh. always had that spirituality of everything around us. It's the interaction you have with the air you breathe, the, the ocean that you gather resources from, the rivers from which you gather fish, the tundra from which you pick berries, the animals that give themselves. It's, it's all of all of that. Uh, the videos, I don't know, they aren't officially classified as anything, uh, but the game periodically, like, through when you play it, it encourages you to play it, and I think, uh, cultural insights, it's what they're called, and they just sort of give you an insight on the stuff that's centered in the game, so, I, uh, you know, they're not pulling this out of their butts, this is actually cultural things that every single thing is based on in this game. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool. Press while climbing wall to jump from wall. I'm going to pull a Mario 64? Is that, is that what I'm about to do? Oh, would be helpful if I actually pressed the space button. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, all right. Hey, now what? <laughs> you gonna? Oh, I see. Now she can actually reach up there. <laughs> oh, I would hope so. 
Oh, 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 I forgot. Oh. Right, the control. You have to press it at the right time. If you press it too late, you won't get it. Whoa, like right now. She. The harsh winds. They are harsh. You know, I was always curious about. Whoop. I was always curious about people who live in Antarctica or, you know, around that same area because um, I typically listen to radio shows like um, like Car Talk and, uh, and other shows like that from National Pub Public Radio. And a lot of the people that are in those shows are from Antarctica. And they live in small communities and it's... Uh, I'm just paranoid. Oh, okay, never mind. And, uh, you know, some, like, live like these folks, and some are, you know, more modern than others. Uh, and what I'm really, like, that always interested me because they're, like, way out of the way. And, um, you know, it takes forever just to get to that, to some place like that. Now, how do I get here? Oh, right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm, like... I mean, I'm sure that must be appealing to, you know, live out in the middle of nowhere with like-minded individuals. Ah. Uh, do you guys want to keep watching those videos if they pop up? Or should I just... I think I'll, I'll keep playing for a while. Maybe I'll dedicate a part of the, uh, the, uh, the stream to watching some of those videos. But, um... But, oh, oh. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, Antarctica, a very, not a very hospitable place, but, uh, people live there in various degrees of, uh, comfortability, if that's even a word. Some people are more comfortable living, uh, in some ways than others, and I think that's pretty cool, especially because you have total access to the, uh, Aurora Borealis. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Oh! No, I forgot. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel so bad when I miss. She gets she gets pelted really bad with that wind. Whoa. Oh, good. Puzzle platforming with the wind. Oh, I don't know how I missed that. It's probably because I'm down here. Might be Arctic. I there's like an eighty percent chance I'm miss saying that. Uh, I think I'm okay down here. Okay, yeah, I'm okay. All right. Whoop whoop. And what I'm gonna do is um. Kev doesn't seem to mind the video, so I'll probably like uh, I'll keep watching them here and there. And, uh, Man, cold air up the butt. That is not cool. Oh, no, wait, no. <laughs> I'm just bracing myself. Oh, did it stop because I got this far? I'd well, I welcome that. Oh. What happened? What happened? What happened? What? I just got lost in the blizzard for like a few seconds. Homecoming. Thanks, Steam. I appreciate that. Not really. I'm going to look at the chat. Oh wait, what am I doing? Hold on a second. Yep. I'm going to move this over here because I can get a better look at the chat. Cause I need to have it there so I can see it. All right, what is it? Antarctica, Antarctica, and the Aurora Australis are at the South Pole. The Arctic with the Aurora Borealis is near the North Pole. Oh, hey, okay. So I was sort of right. Thank. Did not I? Yeah, I know, right? I didn't expect it to get that dark either. Jesus. 
Yeah, what happened though? Why is everything on fire? No kidding! What happened? Seriously? That guy's gotta get a hobby. Oh no! Oh no! Jeez. Oh, this is not good. Uh, it is said that with each gust of wind, the powdery snow blew in every direction. Well, it's kind of gone beyond that is said. You kind of just go through it. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, little goil. I, I can't believe what I just saw. I'm not even from the village and I can't believe what I saw. I do not blame them. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, hey. Could you help me, Mr. Bird? Everyone's gone and I'm on my own. Please help me, Mr. Giant Loom. Oh. Thank you. Mom, is this my stop? Okay, thank you. What was that? <laughs> Am I looking at gremlins? I thought I heard gremlins. Yeah, I'm seeing little gremlins over there. Oh, please don't let them be minions. I don't need minions right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at that. That wind would have, like, totally pushed. Well, actually, do I need... Do I meet the wind? Whoa! I wonder. I'm gonna try to time it right. Oh! Uh, it's really hard because, like, when it blows you in one direction, you're kind of moving. Uh, maybe that's not even what I'm supposed to do. Let me go jump down here first. Oh! All right. Uh oh. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm not. I know I'm not supposed to leave you behind. Oh God. All right. What to do? I mean, uh, uh, the little girl can't make it, can she? <gasps> oh, excuse me. What to do? Uh oh. Well, this is tough for Rooney. Can I figure out what to do? It's too hot. Okay, so it's not, like, horrible. Oh! Um, okay, so maybe I can't. Well, I don't know if she's fast enough, though. Oh! Yes, she is! Haha! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Careful there! Don't fall! Oh, well, actually, I don't think it's too bad. Cool. I don't have to completely avoid it. What are you doing? Am I gonna have to be you and help you jump down? Oh, oh, oh. Careful. Alright, there we go. What? Just hop down. There we go. Let's go. Adventure awaits. And possibly vengeance. I'm not too sure what we're going to be able to do against whoever did all that. But I'm pretty sure we'll find something. Oh, God. Gremlins. Oh. Ooh, I need to watch out there. Uh... Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. That was uh that was close there, Mr. Foxman. Hooray. Wait, do we get off here? I don't want to Okay. I just want to make sure this is where we get off. Hi, Gwen. Today. Oh. I like to in your room I rock open. Ow, man. Well, we can't get in there. We can get over it, though. Oh, okay. I was under the impression that we had to get in there. Hey, it's the dude! A, a little less frightening than the illustration. Well, that's great, but what are we supposed to do against the person who did this to our village? Okay, well, I guess we're just. Well, this is apparently a quest for vengeance. I don't know why. Oh, video time. The heartbeat of community. Drama is something that's common to all cultures in Alaska. All cultures have a drum that may have some stylistic differences or differences in the materials that's made, but it's still a recognition of life and vitality. And the drum mirrors the heartbeat. And when you continue drumming soon, it will be in line with your heartbeat. Because that's what it's supposed to be, the heartbeat of the community. And it symbolizes vitality. Oh, look so happy. And it's, it's the most tremendous feeling to be in a room and to have one long row of all the drummers and to have that feeling of unity and everyone beating in harmony. The drum beat in unison is the most beautiful feeling. And to know that you're connected, you're on the land that you are connected to. And even if you grew up outside of the community, that which is in you comes from this area. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. Oh, that's so cool. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he's getting into it. Oh, that's really, really cool. Yeah, that and 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 and, and I just want to take a moment and and point out and how th that is super important because in many cultures and in many, in many, yeah, no, and in, in many cultures all over the world, music is oftentimes the foundation of what brings communities and families together. And it's it's a powerful thing that transcends generations, that transcends uh, uh, people. You know, I mean, uh, often uh, when I was younger, I'd oftentimes listen to songs that weren't uh, that weren't in English, or you know, in, in my culture, weren't even in Spanish because they sounded good because they, they were they were it was good music, and music oftentimes just like. A lot of things in like movies and stuff like that, it can transcend the barrier of being able to understand each other because when it comes down to it, music is about connecting with people. And it's a, it's, it's a connection that is universal in a way, like love. Love is a universal thing. And I think that's really neat. And I'm going to shut up now because I just got... Judged. Yes, I am willing to take a bet that that is a white man, possibly. Not even possibly. A very good chance it is white man. Curse white man. Give me that rope. Thank you. Climb. Climb, you. There we go. All right, so we're trying to find drum for the hey, gremlins! I knew it. 
What are they doing though? They're just like They're just having they're just having a good time. Whoop! <laughs> Chasing off gremlins. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Little people. Okay, I gotta watch. What is with this? Little people. They're just like other people. They just happen to be very small and extremely strong. These are stories that are common throughout Alaska. It's normally that people are you know, size from your elbow to the tips of your fingers, and they possess superhuman strength. So they may be tiny, but they can carry a whole caribou. And if you go up north and you talk to a number of the people in the community, they'll talk about having seen the little people. There's a place at home that we know, but we don't profess it to anybody. But it's not like the boogeyman. They can be mischievous, they can be ornery, or they can be helpers. And every now and then, we might have the opportunity to see them, especially if they want us to see them. The fact that it's across Alaska really tells you something about our history and how we interacted with nature around us. That's pretty cool. Little people. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm going to call them, nah, I'll call them little people. I kind of wanted to keep calling them gremlin. Gremlins, but uh, no, that's an actual friend of mine that I talked to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> laughing at me. Grab and move object. Oh. Okay, so there's nothing there, so I'm gonna assume pushing is what I need to do. I'm a, oh, the, the, the fox is up there on it. And I think, uh, yeah, it is a little strange, Mason, that the fox can climb a lot better than the human. But uh, I think it's to show that, you know, the fox is sort of like you're, you're, you're a guide, your you're friend, your you're little, like, protector that helps you out a lot. And uh, let's see. Whoop. Climb, climb, my who man friend. Also, Kev does have a point. <laughs> and is a child, so. Uh, I don't want to hurt her. Okay, go, she's fine. <laughs> I got a little worried. Well, not interrupted yet. Uh-oh. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Uh-oh! Whoa! Oh, no! You little dickweeds! What are you trying? I don't want to play Donkey Kong! Whoa! What, why am I going to stand there? They're throwing things at me. Am I going to catch it? I didn't catch it. Oh, and you, you made me lose the game. Game. I'm not supposed to stand there. I do not want to go through that screen again. Oh, and I did. Oh, my God. What is happening? Oh, I see. Stand here, and they're going to throw it at me and then run. Whoa! Do it again. Do it again. Uh oh. No! Whoa! Alright, cool. I am not going through that game over screen again, you stupid gremlin! Get out of here, you gremlin! I'm calling them gremlins now, they hurt a kid. Man. Yeah, little people. Did I, did I get it already? Did it, oh, is it equipped already? Oh, yeah, sorry. I was looking at the chat, so I couldn't see. All right, let's go. <laughs> I agree, Seth. But it's not even the fact... Uh, I would rage against this game, too. But it's not even the fact that it's like a thinky game. The fact that it, like, it forces you to see the little girl get hurt almost makes me not want to play this game. Because that is not cool. 
I don't I don't like uh I don't like kids getting hurt. Uh I might have pushed it too far. I think I have to hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start now uh, down here. There we go. And I think I have to jump on that thing up there. Yeah, this is very um a user friendly game. It, it takes the time to explain things to you. Whoops. There we go. No. <laughs> Fox, stop defying the laws of physics. There we go. Yay. Uh oh. Oh, I I know. <laughs> now I push it over there. Yeah, thanks, Kev. Yeah, it's precisely why. Uh, uh, yeah, someone's got to suffer. May as well be me. <laughs> Hooray, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Ooh, big cobra. I'm really digging like the expressions. Well, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I, I, I honestly could watch this guy for a while, but I know I gotta keep going. Bola, video time! The Bola is what we call Kilimitam. And the Kilimitam is made out of braided sinew tied out to some heavy bone which you could twirl. In my case, we're catching ducks. When we're out and whaling, sometimes the ducks start flying. And they're good for duck hunting. You know, uh, if you're a whaling crew, you can't make too much noise. So you can't use a shotgun for um, getting some duck soup handy, you know? So bolo was a really handy weapon to use for catching ducks. You know, the ducks fly in, you throw it up and tangles up the bird, and down they go. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the game reveals, like, cutscenes, and actually, you, you that's the only way to unlock them while you play them. As you play the game, it uh, slowly unlocks uh, things that explains a little more about what you have, not in a gaming sense, but in a cultural sense as to where they got the inspiration for said item. So the bola is going to is going to be an item that we're going to use to take down some birds but culturally uh it was uh oh culturally it was used for hunting so that's where that comes in i have the hook shot uh oh yep that's ah, a good thing i ducked Bola! Wait, whoa. Oh, okay. Hold. <laughs> okay, I'm at... Oh. That's gonna be a little challenging a little bit because there's no cursor to aim or anything. You have to judge where the little girl aims as she's like holding her out her arm. And you have to judge it that way. So, in the meantime, let's get on this on top of this nice spirit boyd. Uh, now what? Oh! That's what. Oh, darn it, Mr. Fox. You're supposed to be fantastic. There we go. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh. More, more trouble, I would think.
Wait, is that a bola thing? Oh, it totally is. That is super duper cool. Very much, very, very more. It, it, for all the puzzle games. Oh boy. Out of all the puzzle games that I've played, this is, feels like the most intuitive one. Like, very, very user friendly. Very easy to pick up on. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's holding your hand or it's trying to. It, it doesn't feel like it's super duper easy. And, and, and you know. Oh. Yeah, very grateful too. And you know. I like. I love these kind of games. I absolutely love them. Like, uh oh, just duck. Oh no, I tried to duck. Yeah, once it gets you like that, sometimes it doesn't let you uh, go down. Blue goal, a blue glow bowlable. <laughs> Did you ever actually read the meta? Uh, no, but I've been meaning to and actually that's a thing I can do now I'll just if it's audible. I'll read it that way and that way I can get away with reading it at work without getting in trouble Seriously audible is Has been helping me read so much lately. I read the entire hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy uh, I read two Agatha Christie novels that way. Uh, I read a fantastic book by Paula Poundstone it's just, it's been allowing me to dive back into reading. And I, I love it so much. And it may not be traditional reading, but uh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, it, it's following me? Oh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, all right, let's see. Nope. Nice. Now what? Oh, I guess I'm the fox again, and then I go back up. I think. Or not. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I thought. Oh wait a minute. Or well, maybe the fox goes down here and then gets brought up. And then we can figure out what to do from here. Ah, yeah, yeah. We unleashed the spurt. Oh, man, we're getting close to an hour and I kind of don't want to stop. <laughs> Let's see. Hop. And actually, I just thought of a few games that we can experience together. That I didn't put on my list, but are are story driven games like this, but super interesting, and I'll bring those up in a in a bit. No, no, actually, I can bring it up while I'm playing. I'm just trying not to get blown all over the place. So originally on my list, I had uh, Undertale, Kentucky Route Zero, and. A game I used to play when I was a kid called Lego Island, which I don't even—I don't even know if it's gonna work. Uh, however, in light of playing this game, whoa, careful there. Uh, I'm—I kind of—I'm kind of super interested in doing another story-based game, and there are two that I've never done videos for, that I've never, uh, that I've never streamed before, but I have played. And I think you guys would really like it if you guys haven't played them or heard of them. One is called uh, The Stanley Parable. Uh, another is called Doc... Oh, I don't... It's a, it's a long name. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to die. Um... <clears throat> oh, God! And thank you very much, Seth. I appreciate it. I kind of get worried because I know I'm not exactly the most um, fanciful reader. Not reader. N uh, t a talker. Uh, but I try to make things interested. interesting. I'm just trying to figure this out. Oh, the wind. Doi. Doi. What am I thinking? I'm thinking about games to play. And I completely forgot that the wind can assist 
in jumping. <laughs> Got wrapped up. Whee! I see Seth says, I have strangely heard of the Stanley Parable and I have played and loved Undertale. For some reason I thought you'd upload Stanley Parable to your YouTube page. I thought so too, but what I like, uh, I, what I try to do on, on my YouTube page, uh, at least my, my video game one, is uh, I try to do games I've never played before so I can react appropriately. I don't like going into a game I've already played and be like, oh no! Oh god! Oh, that guy's not a good guy. That guy's not a good guy. Yeah, no. Uh, definitely not. Stranger danger. Oh, why is he throwing? Oh no! Stranger! Da oh my god! Okay. Only thing I don't like about this game is the girl getting hurt. I hate that about this game. That's the only thing I don't like about this game. No, I missed! Go, go, go! The girl? I, I, oh, I didn't read the subtitles before then. Go, 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 go! Someone feel free to fill me in on why he's after her! Go, 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 go! Get ready to... Yep. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not about that life. Oh! Totally not about that life. Just keep going. Just keep going because I know he's back there. Yeah, totally back there. Oh, he was after the bola. Never mind, I'm good. I know why he's after me now. Oh, no! Go, 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 go! It's a lot of, uh, oh, just go! Careful, careful! No, 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 no! The one the good! Oh. Yeah, no kidding! Oh, that's true. You don't want to be floating out. I am a bola expert, apparently. Following that, it stopped briefly and then became windy all over again. It was difficult to see anything in the blizzard. Hibbly, uh, jibbly, hibbly, jibbly. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. My, my, my biggest motivator in not getting hurt is not seeing that girl hurt because it makes me just want to curl up and die anytime that girl gets hurt. I'm just saying that right now. But uh, I'm just taking a moment to take a look at the chat, see what I missed. Thank you very much, Seth. I appreciate it because uh, <laughs> um, I don't feel very literate sometimes. So I'm glad someone thinks so. Um, but um, yeah, no. Uh, uh, after this game, uh, I was uh, I, I was thinking of changing it up a bit for more st uh, story based games. Um, like I mentioned, Stanley Parable. Uh, if you guys are up for it, and also, oh right, that that the thing. Hold on, there's a there's a game. There's a game with the longest line. I mean, name, not line. Uh, give me a second here. <clears throat> it is Doctor Langskoff, the Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, a whirlwind heist. Uh, it is rated. 9 out of 10 on Steam and is considered uh, uh, up, pretty up there uh, with games like the Stanley Parable, which shouldn't be too much of a surprise because it's from the same people that made that game. So uh, I actually kind of want to play those games with you guys. So Yeah, <laughs> it is indeed a, a mouthful. I'm going to say it one more time. Dr. Langskoff, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald Semicolon, a whirlwind heist. <laughs> Those two are really wonderful. I've played them um, at least once. Well, Stanley Parable, I've played multiple times. And Whirlwind Heist, I played at least twice. They're really good story games. And I I kind of really want to play them now. And I, uh, I, I, I'm kind of begging you guys, if you haven't, only if you haven't, because if you have then that, that's fine. We can choose another game. But if you haven't, they're super 
clever, interesting, and funny uh, uh, games that take storytelling and sort of spins it on its head. So if you haven't, I I, uh, I would you know it would really be great if we did to take you on that journey with me. Um, because it, it, you know, as a first time reaction thing, I've already played them, so I don't think it would make a very good YouTube video or, or anything, but as an adventure to take with you guys to show you the game, I think it'd be great. And especially because the Stanley parable allows for inter, uh, it allows an opportunity for interactivity with you guys. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's continue on this for a while. We still haven't reached an hour yet. Probably probably gonna go a little over an hour because I kind of want to go. Oh no. Oh. Oh, video time. Stranded. The scaredest I've ever been. I was 12 years old. We floated out on a piece of ice. Uh, while we were duck hunting. It was a bluebird day, just clear blue skies. And there was three of us, myself, my brother, and my dad. Next thing you know, we see this dark, dark shadow on the ice. Uh, we look and it goes behind us. So we, we all jumped up startled and uh, my dad, he started running. We got back to the ridge there. The, uh, the ice had fractured, cracked and broke off and we were floating away. We were, we were drifting. <laughs> It was close enough to where my dad would have made it. He stopped and he thought about throwing us across and if one of us was on the other side, we would be split up. So he stopped and he just so happened to have a, a cell phone on him. 911 didn't pick up. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world right there. 911 did not pick up. So he left a, a message because they record their calls. Once he had relayed that information, his cell phone died. That was the scariest moment I've ever had in my life. We were floating away and I thought we were left for dead. Uh, he kept calm during this situation. Uh, he's bringing out everything positive in this case. You know, I'm crying, my brother's freaking out. It went from clear blue to dense, dense fog. Within a couple hours, we heard the chopper flying around, so they must have gotten our message. We thought we were saved, and then the chopper sound went away. So we lit some of the sled on fire. It's plastic. We thought black smoke in the fog would create some kind of marker. Chopper pilot uh, had mentioned uh, when we got rescued, you could see a glow in the fog and he slowed down there and sure enough as soon as he slowed down uh, we got within visual that was definitely the scariest moment of my life was floating away and not knowing what the outcome was going to be Ooh, i didn't talk at all through that one because that one's heavy that's got to be all sorts of scary and you know as people who live in a city uh all of us, as far as everyone that um, is in the room with me here in the chat room. I mean, we all live in the city. I mean, we don't have to worry about being out, you know, out in the ice. And then all of a sudden face the potential of being stranded. And even with modern, uh, with modern conveniences like cell phones and GPS and stuff like that, how frightening and real a possibility that you can get stranded on a chunk of ice. Yeah, that's... Oh, boy. <laughs> Definitely something... Uh... <clears throat> Definitely something real. Are those pengus? Or are those walruses? Oh, Oh yeah, but that doesn't look good. What's on the other thing? Well, I mean, yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of the trap. Wait, I wonder. Yep. <laughs> I really like. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. 
Oh. Oh, 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 okay, that, that's fine. The ice is unpredictable. Get over here, Fox. I'm sorry I got confused. Mason's schooling me on penguins. Yay! But that's what I like about this game. There's so many layers to it on how it was made. You know, people didn't just think think of the oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh, oh no. People didn't think of this out of the top of their heads, you know, making stuff up. This is all based off of the environment, the lives, the culture of the people who live in, you know, in the Arctic. And I think that's really cool. It makes it feel like this game has some heart to it. There's some substance. There's, you know, some heartfelt effort that goes into this game. And it really feels that way. Especially with the videos. The videos complement the game well. Oh, not you again. No. No. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gone. No, 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 no. I am not about this life. I'm not about this life. Go, go, go. Oh, <clears throat> oh boy. Keep... Man, that bear. Oh, that bear will not let up. That bear wants a kid's sandwich with extra fox on the side, and I am not giving it to. What can we do? Oh. Is this what we're supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I don't know what we're supposed to do. I can't jump it under the water. Okay, yeah, that's not good. What are we supposed to do? Oh, same thing for the fox. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I don't want to do that again. Well, what are we supposed to do? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, now what? Can I just restart? Yeah, uh, wait. Let's just make sure we're gonna. Oh, thank God. Uh, Fox? Fox! Oh! Fish spirits! Okay, thank you, fish spirits. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sit through any more game overs. I'm gonna just load from the last checkpoint because I don't want to see either of these guys suffer. It's too much for my heart. I can't. I can't eat. Oh, really? Give me a break. Come on, man. You got like hundreds of fish to eat in the water. You can actually swim in the water. Get out of here. Go on a vegan diet or something. Uh -huh. I know. But... but why? Why? I mean, it's got plenty of food source everywhere. <laughs> Seth, that is a very valid question. I have no idea, but I would say probably relatively fine. And not a good idea if the same law of rules of physics apply when you pee on the third rail uh, <laughs> in a subway. You know... Yeah, I don't want to test that theory. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, video. We're very much aware of the climate change, and it's been for many years, even before climatologists were noticing the change. In it, we're already saying, "Sila alangoktok," our climate is changing. If the heat is going the way it is right now. For us, it's going to be pretty bad. Different birds are coming, and they're coming earlier, and sometimes rain is more than what we want, because when there's more rain, we know it's going to melt the permafrost. In my time as a young quail, when I was nine years old, we're hunting from ice that was about 25 feet thick, and there was giant icebergs already floating coming by. That was the first signs of a changing climate. Ice that never broke before was now moving. Now, here it is 50 years later, we're hunting whale from ice that's 18 inches thick. There's no more thick ice. 
it's creating a malfunction in our whaling season is, is what it is. And actually more than that, all seasons in general. I think we are more scientists than more people will realize. We have more knowledge of those things than people will ever know. God, another heavy video. Uh, and, you know, I trust scientists, but I think I also would trust the knowledge of people who are living in a particular place for generations, too, to give me a pretty accurate description as to what's going on. I think that's what I'm all right, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go a little farther, and then I'm going to switch games. Okay, so it's translating in the game. Okay. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No! Oh, come on! You were waiting for like ever! That's not cool! Alright, go, 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 go! I'm not going through that game over screen again! Oh! Move, 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 move! Yeah, no kidding, I can see that! It wants to crushinate me! I know technically it got you in the tail, but at least the game was nice enough not to go through with it. Alright, go, go, go! <laughs> go! Oh. Right now, where are we? Oh, come on! Really? Oh, what am I supposed to do against the bear? Um. Oh! Dang it. I accidentally switched when I didn't want to. Alright. Alright. Come on. Oh no. Climb, climb, climb. I'm climbing like I'm. The oh, there you yeah. Okay, now what? Oh, I got it. Oh, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh boy! Oh! What am I supposed to do now? A fox down there? Oh boy. Ah! Oh! Nah! And what now? <laughs> oh god. Oh well how am I supposed to do it now? I can't run away now. When I when I get down there, well maybe this is the last time. Well, I mean still. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? If I drop oh, let's drop down and see what happens. Oh Jesus! No! Dang it. I I was I was assuming I could maybe jump over him. Again, really? Oh, okay. Well, at least you're nice enough to do that. All right, let's try that again. Jump over him this time. Over him. Jump! Oh. 
okay. I really, I can't, I can't. I really don't like it when you get sad or hurt. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? All right, the game even tells me that it wants the fox over there. All right, let's get you away from the bear, please. Oh god. All right, when I drop down, what do I do? Because the bear starts chasing me when I drop down. And I can't switch over to the girl. And I can't make it here in time because then... Ugh. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I was fine until I start dying a lot. I don't like the game doing this to me. I can only put up with this for a while longer than I really do want to stop playing the game. <laughs> Um, let me see, uh, jump, okay, the game wants me to go there, where can I go, I mean, where do I go, I mean, when I drop down, I, I have nowhere to go, I have nowhere to go, uh, agreed Seth, 100% agreed, Like, all right, I, I can do this, and the game wants me to drop down there, but I don't have anywhere to go and safely go anywhere. Oh, jeez. Can I just hit him from here? How is it not effective? His face is right there. I'm hitting him, but there's no effect. Oh, that's just mean. That is just mean. Uh, oh. I don't have anywhere to go. What is that a conflict? Oh. Oh, okay. That was like the only difficult part of the game. Tavra anna kalwaktuk, aglan elit chogeruk. Oh 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 oh. Tuve akilangan nunam adimigini. Yeah, no. The, the the when either one of them loses, either the fox or the girl, I just can't. Like my, <laughs> I can't. Not even joking. I get totally crushed. Oh my god, I'm not even kidding. Oh, it sucks. Okay. A little more than I'm switching games. For the sake of my poor heart. Oh god, that's not good in the slightest. I hope a Pinocchio is being pulled right now. Be quiet, Seth. <laughs> I don't want to jick myself. Although that word was a good hunt hunter during clear weather, the blizzardy weather simply was not a time to hunt. And also I learned a... I earned a whale achievement. Swallowed. Oh, God. All right, for the record, in reality, this does not work. You fall into that water, you're theoretically, uh, you know, you, you're gonna hyperthermia big time. But I'm super glad this game isn't realistic because I can't stand the girl dying or getting hurt or getting sad. I can't do that. <laughs> Make sure I'm not missing anything. I think the game actually wants me to explore the watery depths. Or not. I like how the little... Oh. Substance lifestyle. Let's check it out. 
in you know Arctic Alaska, hunting is a really important part of life. It's not just about going and shooting something. It's about going and putting food on the table. But more importantly, you know, subsistence hunting isn't just about the insular family unit. It's about feeding the whole community. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about subsistence hunting in Alaska is that people go out and they'll go get you know fish or they'll get a caribou and they'll get you know seals and whales and one of the first things they'll do is they'll say, oh, I need to take this to the elders. This isn't just about one individual surviving or one family surviving, it's about the whole community. We didn't just go out and kill and put, and put in a freezer. It's like a ritual that I learned from my parents. It's, it's all about relationship. I don't know, I, I think there's, there, there's a lot of camaraderie involved. Uh, and, and, and just being out on the land or being out on the ocean, it's like getting back in tune. I'd rather be out there. To me, once I go out there, it's the world that I learn from. Hey, kind of touches on some of the things that I mentioned. Oh, so it says, though it apparently was possible to survive frigid water sometimes that happened to a boy who drowned in Lake Michigan but was revived and is still alive. Yeah, Don't want to mess with that, though. But I guess it, for the sake of the game itself, uh, it's letting you... It's letting you do water levels and not die. <laughs> Which I can appreciate. Absolutely. Well, uh, hello, Mr. Spirit. Uh, are you going to help us or what? Am I going to have to... Okay. I'm not sure what that did. Oh, I know what that did. It allowed my fox running and jumping abilities. Well, how do I get you up here? Uh, I guess. Whoa, careful there, fox. Oh, duh. <laughs> and then maybe if I wait on this guy, he'll go lower too? Oh, duh. I got ahead of myself. And then I scurry, 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 and then I jump. And then that'll go lower. And she's fine because the spirit's holding her there. Then jump. And then jump. All right, I like it when a plan comes together. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> well then, yikes. Seth, I swear to God, I'll fire up my emulator and I will play Star Fox 64. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Wait. So back into the water? Well, I can't climb. So, yeah, let's go. Oh, that's pretty. Apparently, I'm not worried about breathing, which is co totally, completely fine. I think. Yeah, I wasn't able to reach here before. Uh. Are you okay there? Uh. What's wrong with my fox? He's stuck. There you go. We we're stuck there for a second. Whoa. Can can you help me? Yes, you can. Thank you very much. Thunder, 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 cats! Uh... Ah, there you go. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Okay. 
Okay. Uh. Where'd you go? Are you, are, are you gonna help us or what? Oh, careful there. Note to self, don't extra high jump. I wanna get down to get her on here. Oh, oh. I see. I control how far he goes. But, uh, it would be so much more helpful if I was closer. Oh, never mind. Got it. All right. What is this? see okay so she's gonna be fine she's gonna use that spirit to climb <gasps> oh or not I'm sorry I didn't know it was gonna disappear after a while and hop down go down here and then you go oh, no come back <laughs> ah for Pete's sake all right it's, it's controlled by the folks I keep forgetting that can you can you can you please? Can you? Can you please? All right. So the fox needs to be down here, or otherwise she won't be able to grab it. Okay. She doesn't control. Uh, oh, here we go. So it gets a little higher, and then it helps her climb all the way up. Oh no! What was that? What was the instruction again? I completely missed out on it. Oh, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, sir. go too far because those things disappear on me apparently all right and now I have it 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 there we go and now you're all the way up you can backwards jump on the here you can jump over here and let's see and then up here and then wait that didn't work well get back down here I think you gotta climb it up for yeah, and then when I go, it'll start going up. Yep, there we go. You go first, cause otherwise, if I jump, there you go. And I don't want to keep playing to the next checkpoint, and then I'm gonna slash. But judging by Kev's comment last time, I'm thinking she's done the Stanley Parable. Or maybe... Now what? Alright, so I need to get you there. Uh, so maybe I'll do Dr. Langskopf. That's a, that's a pretty... I think I may be able to nail that in one stream. If none of you have heard of Dr. Langskopf, uh, then I'll do that one next. It's a really fun game. Whoops. Oh wait, Fox, what are you doing? Oh, I see. You need to, you need to be up there so that those things can appear and then I can hang on for dear life. Yeah, don't go too far, Mr. Fox. Yeah, I kinda do. <laughs> I kinda do want to do Stanley Barrel. 
Oh, that's right. I did do Dr. Lang's golf. Damn it. My, my options, they're getting smaller. Uh, I hope this is enough momentum. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay. Yeah, I have enough of getting indigestion because little girl might not make it. Uh, no, no, no! Oh, oh. Huh. Okay, no, no, oh. oh god. Okay. Almost did a really bad thing by accident. Oh my god, I actually got really scared. Alright, now go up there, please. Alright, uh. Oh, right. I have to keep going, I think. Right? Oh, not too far. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, have you climb up here. And then... But that's as high as you go, right? Because you won't go any higher. Oh, nice. I didn't even see that ledge. Oops. <laughs> There we go. Yep. All right. There we go. Got it. Well, how do you get up here? Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Wait, let me let me pick on the wool on the owl. <laughs> Everything is alive. Yeah, let's do one more. Now we spend all our time out in nature. You get very intimate with the world. And over time, if you're living that life, you start to sense that everything has a spirit there's a consciousness in everything everything is alive if everything is alive then then we want to respect it and if we're going to use it we want to use it respectfully what i try to tell my nephews and nieces you know you love to hunt you have to take care of the animals that you catch preparing the food and eating the food that you catch water provides you the ice brings you life. It provides all those things that you need to be a part of your life. That was something I grew up with. I grew up respecting the animals. I grew up respecting the land. And that, to me, that is why we as Inupiaq, as an Inupiaq culture, as an Inupiaq people, is why we're so successful. Oh, that's pretty cool. And actually, I, uh, where is that? Uh, there's a game that I forgot about. Yeah, there it is. There's a game that I completely forgot was a thing called Dark Side Detective. Oh, I also got to finish Bullets and Blues. Uh, <laughs> heck, I might do one of those, actually. All right, so okay, here here's what I pro here's what I propose. Um, I'm still gonna get to the the checkpoint on this one here before I stop playing, but there's a game called Dark Side Detective, which is an 8-bit or 16-bit game that uh, that is well detective based. It's a the Dark Side Detective is a 2017 video game developed and published by Spooky Doorway. And it is uh, join it's Francis Mc join Francis McQueen as he investigates the bizarre, the supernatural, and those missing cat cases he keeps getting dropped on his desk. <laughs> so there's one. Or I can actually be a good noodle and actually keep playing Bullets and Blues because I haven't played that in forever and a half. But it's pretty uh, 
It's pretty, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, nasty at times. Uh, if I recall the one crime scene I was investigating. But anyway, oh, I might just choose one. I don't know. Anyway, let me know your input while I try to get to the next save point here. Alright, so I... What do I do now? Where do I go? Where, do I, where, do I, where did I come from, Kanajo? Oh, right. I have to hold. Hey! Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. Maybe? Maybe? Can I swim up the waterfall? Nope. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll probably... Ah. I'll probably do Bullets and Blues as a... Um, as a stream at some point, too. Because it's going to take way too long... To do them the way I've been doing uh, as YouTube videos, but I'll definitely like stream them too. But I do really want to try Dark Side uh, Detective. So that's what I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna try to do next time. Um, how am I supposed to do this? The waterfall keeps getting in the way. Whoops! Nope. I can't climb up, can I? What in the blazes am I supposed to do? It's following me. Will you follow me over the under the waterfall? Well, I'll be. All right. Hooray! There we go. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. Oh, I'm not gonna. Hi! You're right there. I thought that was a good idea. I'm so sorry. Yeah, let's try that again. Is that gonna work? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But hold on, I gotta <laughs> try that again. Oh, God, Lee. Oops. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, no. But that's been happening forever for a while, and we've been okay. Yeah, come on, little girl. Let's go. Okay, well, uh, uh, this is a checkpoint, I believe, of some sort. Oh, yeah, we go. What? We were inside the whale? Oh, okay, uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> sea and air. All right. Uh, let's see where we end up, and then I'll uh, change video, uh, change games.
Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was a cinematic. I was so entranced with <laughs> how it looked. Okay. All right. So that's it for this. I will definitely keep playing this because I want to... I really, really want to finish it. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, it would help if I actually owned the game that I say I'm about to... Uh, <laughs> that I'm about to stream. That would be a tiny bit useful, I would think. But anyway, I really love this game. It, it's it's beautiful. There's a lot of there's a lot of meaning behind it. Also, there's music playing in the background because of the gosh darn Steam Store, Dark Side Detective. And I really like this game. It's really good. I'm gonna play more of it. Oh, and it's on Steam sale for seven seventy nine. You know what? I'm going to change it up just a tiny bit because I am an indecisive little... Stop it. I'm an indecisive little gremlin. I'm going to do this and then there's another game I wanted to play that's also in the same vein. It's like an 8-bit sort of adventure game, but it's a story-based one. And uh, purchase for myself. Let me see. Oh, and it's on sale. So what better time to get it? Because it's a little bit of an excuse, but who cares? So I'm going to get this. And I think it's in my wish list. Uh, but it's also a story-based game from what I can tell. Maybe question mark. I'm not too sure. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, uh, wish list. Is it? I know it's here, but is it on sale? Is it? I don't know. There it is. VA11 Hell. Da hell. Hall dash A. Cyberpunk bartender action and it's got an overwhelmingly positive review uh it's uh yeah it, it's it's really stylized i've been i had my it's a visual novel style thing i've been having my eyes on it the entire time it is on sale not by much but i don't care i'm gonna get it so we're gonna do those instead i'm sorry i derailed my list that i made earlier but i am a hundred and a hundred thousand times invested in wanting to play these two games right now I have decided and I've never played them and I think it's gonna be spectacular uh, I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna go ahead start installing the dark side detective and I'm gonna keep playing uh, 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 never alone while it uh, while it downloads it's not gonna take very long because it's it's a pixelated game uh, in fact, I think it's about to be done. It's almost halfway there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That uh, works. That works fine. That works oakley dokely for me. Uh, because I'm afraid if I keep playing, uh, it's done. Uh, if I keep playing the other game, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, um, forget. And it's gonna end up with, uh, I'm gonna end up, uh, playing it a little too long. Okay, so here we go. Also, same thing with uh, Cyberpunk Bartender Action. It's downloading like crazy. I gotta love when a game does that. All right, so I'm gonna leave this game right here. Definitely gonna pick this up again as a stream because uh, very fun to play with you guys watching. And up next, we're gonna play a little game called, I forgot it already, The Dark Side Detective. Uh, yeah, and the stream's gonna go out so that it's not, like, a five-hour stream, or, or should I? I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep doing that, like, I'll end the stream briefly, and then start it again with a new game, so it, it cut, uh, so Twitch cuts it up, uh, into different videos, in case nobody wants to sit through a four-hour stream, you know? So, I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back, don't you go anywhere, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. 